I'm Dr. Sandra Laura Kramers and I want to explain to you what a cataract and astigmatism is. So this is the eye. The front surface of the eye is called the cornea. It should be curved like the surface of a basketball and not ideally like a football. If it's shaped like the surface of a football, so meaning it's kind of irregular or the curvature is not completely spherical, it means you have astigmatism, which means that the light rays, either because of the cataract or sometimes because of the lens, do not meet at a common focus on the retina, and the retina is an extension of your brain. So it leads to distorted images, blurry vision, uh, unclear vision, sometimes even double vision. So astigmatism is a usually, when we talk about corneal astigmatism, we mean the cornea is not perfectly spherical. Sometimes a cataract can also cause astigmatism. And the cataract is basically the clear lens, which is like a pillow in an enclosed pillowcase, becomes hazy. And there's many kinds of cataracts. There's the cortical cataract, where the uh, kind of whiteness is around the edges. There's a nuclear cataract where it's in the center. This is almost brunescent or advanced, a mature cataract. There is something called pseudoexfoliation where the uh, lens has a particular material on it. And then there is a posterior subcapsular cataract. So the back part of the lens, like the back part of the pillowcase has a haze. And when we do cataract surgery, we try to ideally correct for astigmatism because it's our chance to put your prescription of your glasses inside the implant we're going to put in the eye. So we make a very small microscopic incision after the pupil's been dilated, and we go in through the pupil, and what we're doing is basically cutting open the front surface of the lens, like the front surface of a pillowcase, taking out the pillow, and trying to leave the back part of the pillowcase, the capsule, intact. And then when we do that, we have a choice of implants, and that's the beauty of cataract surgery. There's many kinds of implants available. The classic one that we've used for many, many years is called a monofocal lens. It has basically it's a flat surface. It gives you distance correction or reading correction or intermediate, just one correction. You can't have all of them. Most insurances cover that. Now we have a lot of advanced technology. One is called the multifocals, which has these little rings. This is a beautiful lens in many patients, but it can cause halos and glare. So some patients are not candidates for this. So if you've had LASIK, for instance, before, you may not be a candidate. Um, the new implant that's come out is called the Symphony, which kind of looks like the monofocal because it doesn't have rings, but it allows you to see distance, intermediate, and reading, and it also corrects astigmatism at the same time. So we've been very excited about this implant. No technology will give you back 100% of your vision all the time that you had when you were young, but we try to get it as close as possible. And that's the frustration with implants in some cases because we have that ability in, in some patients to improve the vision, but it may not be for all the distances. So I just wanted to show you what that looks like. This is an example of an implant in the actual capsule. And you should be aware that the advanced technology implants that try to give you the extra options for seeing without glasses for distance and intermediate, for instance, do cost more, but it's usually worth the money. So that's a question that we have you talk about with your family and with the surgical coordinator. We also recommend femtosecond laser surgery. And what that is is a laser procedure, a femtosecond laser, so it's very, very fast. And what it does is it takes the lens capsule on the surface it cuts a perfect circle and it cuts the cataract into little pieces so we need less energy to remove the lens. And we believe that really does improve long-term outcomes. It does protect the corneal endothelium, which is the surface uh, cells on the inside of the cornea, which we need long-term to keep a clear window, uh, clearness of the cornea. So we do like for femtosecond uh, cataract surgery to be done for the health of the eye, uh, it helps with recovery time in patients, and it does decrease the risk of complications. So the best technology in the world for cataract surgery currently in the United States is femtosecond cataract surgery with a symphony implant if you're a candidate for both of those. If you have any questions, please let us know.